Welcome to COBOL Tutorials. This video will focus on how to generate the import spreadsheet to create new data into Dynamics 365 using the default data management import process, which allows users to quickly update or create records. For example, I have a custom entity called Meeting Registrations, which is related to the contact entity. Instead of manually entering in each registration from an external event planner, I can use the import data process to pull in this information from an Excel spreadsheet and match it up to the right contacts quickly. I'll start in Dynamics 365 by downloading the import template to make sure I include all the necessary fields and reduce confusion later in the data mapping step. Navigate to the Settings tile, then select Data Management, and then select Templates for Data Import. The pop-up window provides a drop-down of all entities with access to all base dynamics and custom entities. I'll go to my Meeting Registration Entity and click Download. An Excel file becomes available to open. Once opened, note that it contains all the fields on the meeting registration record. Click the box under the heading to get information about each field, such as whether or not the field is required. For the import to succeed, required fields must have a value, but columns for optional fields can be left blank or even removed to make the template more manageable. In this example, Contact, meeting registration fee, and meeting are required. I'll remove the optional columns for hide on portal. Form response, etc., etc. Since those fields are not required. Now I can pull our data from another source or manually enter the data. Note that in the contact field, I'm using the email address instead of the customer's full name. The import process needs a unique identifier for lookup fields, and since my system requires the email to be unique for each contact, this is a good field to use because contacts can potentially have the same first and last name, which is the default import lookup value. The import process will not be able to create new records if there are duplicate lookup values for records in Dynamics 365 because it will not be able to determine which record to update. The same is true for the meeting registration and meeting fields, since they are also lookups. I know that these are unique records in my test system, so I can use the name of the record to identify them. However, if there was a possibility of multiple records with the same name, I would need to find a unique field value to place here for the lookup. Attended meeting is an option set, and the Excel sheet provides the options available, so I don't have to look them up in Dynamics. For this example, we will set the value to yes, and drag that down to autofill for all the records. Badge name is a text field, and duplicate data like full name can be placed here because this field is not looking up to another record. Note that I have two people with the name Abigail Steinberg. The same is true for badge job title. For this example, everyone attending my meeting works in sales. So sales representative can be used as the value for all records. Save the file. The import wizard can accept regular Excel.xlsx files, 
but can also take an XML spreadsheet, CSV, or text file. If you're importing multiple records together, you can use a zip file. For this example, I'll save it as a .csv file. The reason being that I'm going to do some custom mapping for the contact name lookup field. With the regular Excel file type, the system will attempt to use the default mapping. If the default mapping is all you need, you can save some steps by using the .xlsx file type. Thank you for joining us for Cobalt Tutorials.